coming to SVP TV this fall. The Mississippi Merit Awards, honoring gospel artists of the Mid-South, sponsored by m &K Men's and Women Fashions. Stop by one of our store locations today. Check out our new fall fashions. m &K, the official fashion sponsor. Mention the Merit Awards and receive a special discount. Shop at m &K today. Mississippi Merit Awards TV series coming to SVP TV. Now you stay tuned for dates and times. A Darian Jameson production. Y'all know how we have to do it. Put your feet out. Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in. I'm Debbie McLennan, and have we got a show for you today. My guest, and, and, and it's weird to say my guest because he's around here all the time. He works here, you know, but today he is my guest, Mr. George Dean of the famed Gospel Four. Hey, George. <laughs> How you doing, Ms. McClendon? I'm fine, I'm fine. Great, great. George was great. sitting out here just cooling it while I was over there just wrestling with the audio system. We got a brand new audio system. Okay, so I'm trying and, to get out all the monks on. And because I don't yeah. be here at night when the crew, when everybody is here working, mm -hmm. then I look at that thing and I'm like, oh my God, it's just so many buttons. Oh my goodness, here we go. <laughs> oh Lord. Everything is happening to me today. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we're here because, you know, um, George has been off the scene for a minute. And, you know, the pandemic. So my first question to my special guest today is, <laughs> what have you been doing during this pandemic? Well, actually, um, I've been doing like most people, just staying in and staying calm and trying to stay away from trouble. <laughs> so far, so good. You know, what can I say? You know, but have to be careful. You know, there's a few things the Bible talks about that we should do in these kind of times. So I'm trying to follow the word, man. <laughs> you're trying to follow word or you're trying to follow uh, what the government is telling us to do? Well, there's a scripture in the Bible that talks about uh, God put judges and, and presidents in, in their place of uh, and he expect us to do some obedience as well. And then there's a contradiction that sometimes the people talk about forsake not the assembly itself. I I, uh, uh, I have to go with with whatever the spirit kind of lays in my heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, I just made sure that I stayed away from trouble. Uh, try to stay with intact. And but one thing I do, uh, I always make sure. Now, I pray more, I talk to God more, mm -hmm. I study the Word a, a lot more, uh, and, and I find myself with more time to do it, you know. Because <laughs> you're not traveling. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, and right. I, I agree with you on all of that. Mm -hmm. So what about your traveling? How, how does it feel? Cause you guys had gotten to the point that every weekend, and sometimes you guys will leave on a Wednesday and Thursday, but you are always on the road. How does that feel? How, how can you adjust to not being on the road? Well, well, actually, it depends on who it is and, and, and how they operate. I can adjust to, to situations that come before me, and I, and I have to adjust, and uh, that helps me in a lot of error of my music and, and the gospel. Mm -hmm. by being able to deal with this situation as well as that situation, knowing that God is over every situation. Everyone. You know, so he's still there, but it's different. Mm -hmm. And you have to get uh, kind of used to, to, to not going and staying, you know. So instead of uh, uh, driving to a program, I, I go to the uh, uh, football field and I walk around the track. <laughs> so you are exercising. Yes, I, yes I am. That's good. <laughs> I started yesterday walking, um, but I, would, I couldn't walk this morning, and, and I really wanted to. Mm -hmm. But I had to, you know, do some editing, and then get dressed and get over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's the only thing that messes me up with, with exercise. But you take, like, because we have downtime, mm -hmm. some things still have to happen. 
I noticed that when it first started, you know, I kind of was in the house like three or four days and I started getting stiff and saying, oh, no, 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 this is not good, so that's not what I'm supposed to do. So be active is always good for the body from your head to your yes. toes. So yes. I figured I'd better start doing some walking and different things like that. Plus, plus my way of eating changed, which has also been good for me. <laughs> I noticed because I had asked you if you wanted me to bring some uh, frost. A, a slice of cake because I was there and I was going to bring everybody some but you said not no, me not me not me that was weird coming out of your mouth right. I don't do no sodas I do very little bread mm -hmm. and and um, I eat certain things. I eat salads and fruits and, and like that and I try to eat everything in moderation eat less uh, my biggest meal may be five between five and six that way I don't have to eat nothing thereafter. You have three or four hours to mm -hmm. chill before you go lay down. So mm -hmm. that stuff that we lay down on is stuff that stays in your, in your system and add to different stuff. So. so if nothing else, you coming out of this pandemic healthy. <laughs> well, hopefully, you know, but, but you know, oh, yeah, you I've got are. some birthdays too that's passed. So, you know, all that has to be taken under consideration. That don't mean nothing. <laughs> okay. That don't, that don't mean nothing. All right, then. All but right, I'm then. proud of you. I am. I am proud to hear that you are, you know, taking on that healthy living. Yeah, I, that's good. I, I think that uh, um, it's, it's, it's good for us to uh, uh, you know, look at ourselves and our bodies and, mm -hmm. and uh, try to be in as, as good a shape as possible. That way we can function better when it comes right. to, the, to the spirit of God and what we have to do for the kingdom, you know. So are you booking for uh, the future? What is happening with me is people that we, that we had booked already, mm -hmm. they're, uh, they're putting their dates into 2021. Okay. And we're just watching things as we go to see uh, you know, if we're having any changes and et cetera and et cetera. And we have to be careful because we don't know. This is a, a, a visible, uh, invisible situation. Mm -hmm. We can't see, you know, we, we can't see the wind, but we know the wind when it blows because we, we can blows. see the trees and, the, and, and we, we feel it, you know. We can't see God, but we know he blesses. But we know he's there. I just finna <laughs> say. <laughs> he's blessing. Uh oh, but, I'm helping you write a song. No, 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 no. But I can see God. It's different. Because see, when the wind does blow, I know that's God. That's God. When the sun does shine, you know, I know that's God. This is a different situation, you know. It's kind of like, like it's hitting. So I'll be thinking that when it's hidden. Mike, because it is hitting. Okay, when, it, when it's hidden and, uh, and uh, you can't see it, is that an act of God or is that an act of, 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 of the enemy? You know, so I'm just saying. But I do know one thing. This, this pandemic is, 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 is letting people see a different, a different side of, of really what's going on. Uh, uh, I don't think it's going to be like this is judgment, you know, but but it's a preparation. It's a preparation for life or death. In, it's in preparation, the and people still, still won't get it. Well, you know. Just won't get it. Well, let's put it like this. The children of Israel, uh, many of them fell by the way because they still didn't get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they had the opportunity to do so, but but they didn't get it, so I want to get it. <laughs> you know, I don't know the signs of the time, but my belief is man sprayed something, did something, mm -hmm. okay, and then it got out of his hand, mm -hmm. and then God said, I'll take it from here, you know. I'm going to do this here, see if I can get everybody's mm -hmm. attention. And there are many people that have humbled themselves. True, true. They're seeking his face. It's very true. That there are so many that are still doing the same thing and worse. Just mm -hmm. won't get it. Mm -hmm. But because I read the Bible and I see the different things that are happening, <laughs> and, and, and I, I read it in the Bible and mm -hmm. then I see it happening, mm -hmm. and then I know that there is a God and mm -hmm. that the Bible is right. You know, so for me, I have truly humbled myself even more, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, and, and I love God even more. And I don't know what the future holds, 
But I do know that as long as we continue to live right, mm -hmm. do what the Lord say do, mm -hmm. then then we're safe. Then we are safe. We, safe. We, we are safe. No matter how we have to leave, we're still safe. If, if, if we actually in his arm. Now you take like what I've done with uh, the guys and myself is I've sent texts to all of them and say, hey, uh, on this day for, for an hour, we, we all are going to, uh, uh, we're all going on our knees at a certain time of the day and, and we're going to pray. And we do that, and then we wait another couple of weeks, and we make sure that everybody's okay, and then we'll do it again, you know. It, it, it serves two purposes. Uh, one purpose is for us to know that everybody is good, mm -hmm. and secondly, for us to keep our minds stayed on, on, on who the Lord is. And, and in the long run, this will actually bring us closer together as, as men. So that's something that I'm, that I'm, that I'm, I, I love, I love to do yeah, so. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And it's keeping you guys together. That's, that's what I'm saying. You know, nobody saying. is straying away during this time because we don't know how long. Right, and then everybody's eager though. <laughs> they, they, they're ready to get out, that's for sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's talk about, but before we talk about your writing, your music, we're going to play some music, okay? Okay, all right. And then we'll be right back. You know what? In the old time way, they had a little church. Oh, in the old time way, they had a little church. They said, Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Oh, let's have it. Let me just say this. Every Sunday morning, a deacon would read a scripture. Another deacon would say a prayer. The preacher would preach God's holy word, and the spirit began to move everywhere. They were saying, "Come on, let's have church. Come on, let's have." Yeah. 
have a special event coming up? Well, let me tell you about a full service video production company that can take your event to the next creative level. I'm talking about Sam's Video Production. So call us. Let's talk about your next corporate event, convention and conference, sales and marketing presentation, training videos, commercials, parties, social clubs, banquets, and the list goes on. Give us a call, 901-244-6874, 901-244-6874. Sam's Video Production, the video specialist since 1982. And we are back, and I hope you enjoyed that music coming from George Dean and the Gospel Four. <laughs> so, George Dean, during all this time off, how many songs have you written? I actually, don't, I think I'm at 61. Now, when I say are you 61, serious? yeah, but, but but let me explain yeah, my 61. Okay, <laughs> my 61 is not completed songs. Okay. All of them do, does have a, a title, you know, it does, it does have a title. Mm -hmm. I've completed maybe 33 or uh, somewhere around, around in there. And, uh, and uh, when I get a mind and my mind say bubble, then I go sit down and I pick this one out and then I'll put whatever, whatever hits my mind mm -hmm. uh, that goes with the subject, of course. It's just like the preachers when they when they, write a sermon. when they write a sermon, and I said something and they stick this with the sermon, morning you know? to a pastor that was here, and uh, I was telling him that uh, Sam and I, we got together in, with this business uh, all because I called him to say thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, uh, when I first moved here, he was playing my music. I didn't even know that we mm -hmm, had okay. sent him music. I didn't know him, mm -hmm. but. I, f I saw my, my uh, video on TV and I called him to say thank you. And from mm -hmm. thank you, we got this relationship, okay. you know, a business, mm -hmm. a, a strong business relationship. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the preacher, he said, I'm going to preach that. That was good. Strong relationship? <laughs> Yeah, oh, from the, the whole situation. Thank you. Yeah, okay. You know, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. just to say thank, thank you yeah. makes room for more. I kept saying that to him. Thank you makes room for more. So Humble. he said, "That's a sermon for me." Mm -hmm. He said, "So you you might hear this again when you edit my uh, sermon." <laughs> and I said, "Hey, no problem, because people need to know just a thank you." And you get your um, writings from um, well, your inspiration to write from different people saying things. Not only from different people saying things, but uh, uh, just what I see as I ride, uh, or, or just what I hear, mm -hmm. you know, it could be storm, lightning, blah, blah, blah. Mm. It could be a lot of different things, but I know it when it hits me, because there's a certain feel, you know, that comes with it, so. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I just say, oh yeah, and then it'll come back to me. Then long as I leave it alone, It'll come back to me. So, there are some songs that I've put out that I, I I've actually written maybe ten years before I put it out. But it, it's like it's a time. Man before you know? his time. And then, and then when the time comes, it's almost like the song boom bounces back, jumps back up. You know, mm -hmm. I have a few things you know in my head. You know that I might try to do. You know, blah blah blah. You never know about me. <laughs> so have you, do, do you think during this pandemic you have written a hit? You know, it's hard to tell sometimes what a hit would be. Sometimes it's, I feel like I have written maybe five songs mm -hmm. that, that will at least touch people's hearts, you know. And, and to me, that's, that's, that's important to me, whether it hits or whether it, you know, climb the job. What's important to me is God give me something to write about that touches people. And to me, that's, that's very, very important. And, and actually, I don't know nothing that's more important than that. You know, when you think about the money and blah, 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 it's like if I just need it some kind of way, God's gonna send it. Mm -hmm. Some kind of way, mm -hmm. it's gonna come, you know. And it can be in the form of me working for it. I don't mean just something just fall out of the sky and given. Mm -hmm. It can be somebody call and say, I need you to do this for me, bam. Or I need you to, boom, bam. Or can you write me a song here? Bam, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. 
he still, he still send those kind of, of, of blessings uh, to me. So then I feel like, you know, when you write a song, this, this, this mother lost her daughter, right? And she called me crying and said, your song saved my life, you know? So I listened because I don't know what to say at that point. Mm -hmm. Your song said, I said, okay, uh, can you explain? And she said, yes, she said, I, this, my daughter died and it was so hard on me that I just didn't see how I was gonna make it through this at all. Mm -hmm. it, and it was her child. And I had put out a song called Lord Save My Child. And when she listened to the song, you know, then uh, uh, it, it gave her comfort. It and, touched and her. Yeah, it touched her and, mm -hmm. and it helped bring, bring her through. These are the things that I feel that, that is necessary in, in, in our writing. And if God see fit for it to go whatever, higher, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But if it reaches two or three, I'm good. Because if heaven rejoice over one, I should be happy if I can reach one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I want to, I, I, I have a statement that I want to make, but before we do that, we're going to take a break because we definitely got to pay some bills. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we're going to hear some music and then we'll be right back. Coming to SVP TV this fall, the Mississippi Merit Awards, honoring gospel artists of the Mid-South, sponsored by m &K Men's and Women Fashions. Stop by one of our store locations today. Check out our new fall fashions. m &K, the official fashion sponsor. Mention the Merit Awards and receive a special discount. Shop at m &K today. Mississippi Merit Awards TV series coming to SVP TV. Now you stay tuned for dates and times. A Darian Jameson production. Y'all know how we have to do it. Put your feet out. Here we go. Ooh, ooh, this morning calling. And I saw a new day. I said, One more blessing, Lord, that you sent my way. When I looked around and I saw everybody doing okay, I, I said, One more, more blessing, Lord, that you sent. Lord, you bless me over and over and all through the day. I said one more blessing that you sent my way. When I got up this morning and I kneeled down to pray, I said one more blessing, Lord. And then he said, whatever is right, <laughs> he said, I will pay. I said, one more blessing, Lord, if she said, my way. You bless me over and over and all through the day. 
some little guys I guess they were about eight or nine years old and they were singing your song blessing me yes yeah, you yeah. saw that yeah too? I saw that I, saw I that. was like oh my good I started to call you but I said no I'm tired <laughs> no but you know I saw that too and and I looked at it like um, these are kids these are youth yes they were yeah. babies and here I am a, an old guy you know, and, and they, that age, still like the music, which tells me mm -hmm. all of us that sing in the quartet field, we're still reaching the old and the young, the old you know, and, and the young. In, in one way or, or the other. And even the older groups, I hear your music so much being sang by others. It's amazing, but you have written songs, and I'm very serious about this. You have written songs that maybe you didn't win a stellar for it, mm -hmm. but you won souls through Christ. That's what I'm talking about. You, you have blessed people to go off. You, you bless people with strong music, mm -hmm. strong words. Mm -hmm. All of your songs tell a story. Mm -hmm. Did you know mm -hmm. that? Yes, yeah, I know. Of course, you wrote know. it. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but your songs, like, like long, long time ago, I guess I was about 18 or something, and you put out a song, uh, Whatever You Need. You find can it find it in the Word mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. And that was, when I heard that song, that was the first time I met you guys, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when I was about 18. And um, 
it's that song touched me never yeah. knew that i would move to memphis one day and that we would work together mm -hmm. i never thought of that but i always remembered that song along with some others but that one in particular whatever you need you can find it in the word you can find it in the word of god and and just think about that is just a fact that's a fact because whatever you whatever you need is is in the word and 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 that prompt that prompted me actually to study more when I put the song out, because mm. I had a little situation that was going on, and and that came to mind. Whatever you need, mm. it's in the word, so it made me it's just start studying. Yeah, yeah, start studying more. Can yeah. you sit here and name some of the songs that that has really been a blessing to the world? Well, the one we just named, uh, whatever you need, you can find it in the Word of God. New way of walking. Mm -hmm. Blessed for your humbleness. That's another one. One more blessing. Mm -hmm. I could just go. I could just go. <laughs> I could just go. You know, you know, ready or not, Jesus coming. You know, coming again. Yeah. Uh, and uh, people are singing these songs. Yeah, yeah, yes, they are. Yes, it's they not are. just your group. Some groups put out songs. Lord knows, don't nobody sing them but them. Well, but you, well, this is true. You uh, <laughs> have people singing your songs. I guess what the reason I say that is because I try to write songs, mm -hmm. you know, and then I always be asking you and everybody else, could y'all help me? Because see, <laughs> all of us, we, we are inspired. Because we have a voice, we're inspired to write too. Mm -hmm. Everybody mm -hmm. can't write. Mm -hmm. They just put some words together. But when those words are put together and they're not anointed, maybe that's what I'm saying. That's true. The, the, the words have to make sense. They have to make sense and, in, and, in God. And the and words have to stay with, with whatever title. Yeah. It has to stay with that. Yeah. In order for it to, but there are great writers all, are. all over this world. There uh, are. Uh, good writers, of course. I, I, I pay attention to uh, all that I can hear, you know. And and actually, it's not a thing where it's it's it's, it's uh, they. Uh, I'm thinking I'm so much better, or blah blah. blah. It's not a thing l like that because I'd be satisfied with what God gives me. Mm -hmm. You know, no matter where it goes or stays, I don't go anywhere at all. If it just bless people, then I'm good. You know, I'm good. Mm -hmm. So whatever God sent my way, I'm happy with it because I've seen so many things that He's done for even for me to be here and for me to have gone through some things because I haven't been right all, all of my life, you know, but God spared my life, spared me through it. I can look back because mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's far gone, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You was there, but you didn't stay there. That's exactly right, <laughs> you know. We, yeah, I, yeah, when yeah, 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 yeah. When you're there, mm -hmm. God gives you a way. All you have to do is come out. And stay out <laughs> and do the will of God. Stay out. Saying. Don't yeah. keep going back and forth. No, you can't do that. you're just holding up your blessings when you do that. Not only that, but you bring more devils back. Yeah, you do. You know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I was thinking, because we got all these young people around here, like Corey and mm -hmm. many others. We got a lot of them that are coming next week. Mm -hmm. Could you do a writing class? I don't know. It was just something that I have to uh, think about uh, what we're writing about and kind of go from there and, and, and see, you know. Well, I guess each person would write their own music, but, but like you were saying earlier, putting it together, you mm -hmm. know, like, like me, I have words, mm -hmm. but putting it together, putting it with a beat, mm -hmm. you know, have, making it, r the words come together rhyming, mm -hmm. if, if that. Yeah. Yeah. People so, need direction. That's true, but there, there are some things that have to be studied. The word has to be studied, but there are some things that's gifted as well. I have songs that have come to me with the beat, mm -hmm. and I can start s singing it, and I can just do the whole thing, just put it every together, you know. Mm -hmm. But then I have to go back to make sure that all of this makes sense from the subject you started from, you know, as, as you go. Mm -hmm. So some, it's just like some people are great pianists, 
Some can't play nothing. It's just we 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 are. How should I put this? We're gifted to do this, but we might not be used to do that. Right. But somebody else is, right. because together is what makes things work. You know. But see, that's something you can tell the, the people in the class. Well, that's true too. So you, I, you I mean, I can talk a class. class. Yeah, I can talk a class. Because you've written class, yeah. enough songs to qualify you. I could teach a class of, uh, for for sure, and and I would teach the I could teach the class and have some couple of musicians as well, mm -hmm. so that the musicians can say blah blah blah, blah, blah and I can say this key here blah, blah blah this key here give me key E boom see I can't sing high E that's too high for me <laughs> you know so take me to blah, blah 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 now the other thing is the reason I said that is because if E is too high for me and you just want to sing this song at E it ain't gonna be you're not gonna be you. You know, because you can't get out of that because you can't flow with it. It's already too high. And you, you know, everybody want to sing in the high key now. But you know, some of the, the major people that have made money. You remember this guy put you out this song? Me off. You didn't want me to say what I want to say. <laughs> but it's okay. Go ahead. That's what he do all the time. <laughs> I'm just a realist. I, but go ahead. I want to hear about this guy. You remember this guy put out this song about Don't Worry. Be happy. Be happy. You know how low that song was? It's low. You know how many millions he saw? <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, but that's low. I'm talking about high. Yeah, that's why, I, that's why I don't try to get too, too high. So what happens is nowadays, most of the singing is screaming. Yes, It's too yes. high and you're trying to be somebody else. And, you know, it's just it just becomes distorted. It, it my ears, just my ears. I'm just talking about me. Right. When, so. I, when I was in music school, mm -hmm. when, I, when I went to college, they talked about uh, the vocal. And the vocal is nothing but a sponge, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you elevate too high, too long, you'll lose that, you know. So you just have to stay within your range. Like a lot of preachers, <clears throat> they talk uh, scruffy now. <laughs> They've been screaming well, I don't know. I, from I, day one. <laughs> Not I, I that they're older. That. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah. I don't know about they that. They can't talk. No. <laughs> you will not get me into that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Stop all that screaming and you have a voice. A clear voice <laughs> when you get older, you know? Yeah, but but a lot of a lot of them actually that's their vocal. Fix their it. their vocal is where they can do that without hurting themselves. And, and, and because that's their limitation. That's why some can sing real high and some people can't. Their limitation, if they, they, can, they, can, they can be up, be all right. But, but if it's not your limitation and you're doing it, then it could hurt the vocal. You're yeah. fixing that. Thank you. No uh, problem. I like that. We're going <laughs> to take a break and then we'll be right back. Cut. <laughs> all right, Corey, where we at? Yeah, we got about, we can do 10 more minutes. All right, this is going pretty good. Okay. It is. Well, thank you, Corey. What did you say, Corey? Your coming up. What did you say, Corey? He said it is. Oh, he was cool. talking about my time. Cool. Well, Corey knows something, though. Corey's <laughs> very smart. Yeah. We're going to bring Corey up, too. That's cool. Okay. All right, here we go. You going to count us in? Rolling in three, two. All right, we are back. We're having a wonderful time sitting here talking with Mr. George Dean of the Gospel Four, world renowned. Never thought you'd get old enough to, for me to say world renowned. <laughs> <laughs> but God is blessing and they keep allowing us to get up every day, you know, so He's good. He's we good. give him the, the praise. He's good uh, for sure. George, you, you put out a song that says, everybody smiles in your face, not your friend. Mm -hmm. Tell me what inspired you to write that. Well, I think I heard somebody uh, say that in passing. Okay. You know, man, everybody smile in your face, not your friend. <laughs> I said, okay. <laughs> So that's, I'll, I'll take that, huh? That's what made you 
And then you added all the... I put it together for myself, yeah. And, I, and I'm, I'm working on a song called Be Careful of the Company You Keep. Mm. That kind of thing. And I'm, you want to give us a little snippet? And, I'm, and, I, and I, I'm going to do a, a, a song that sounds like a blues, but it's not a blues. You know, like, say there won't be no blues in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> somebody tell you somebody lied. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> okay. But it's, well, you know what I'm saying? Sound bluesy, right? Yeah. But yeah. it's sure the truth. Yeah. You know. <laughs> it will be blues. Huh? No, it, it will. It will be blues if you don't make it right. Oh it, yeah. It will be. Yeah. It will yeah. Be. Yeah. It would. Yeah. There are some other songs that. Um, tell me this. Do you have a favorite? I have several favorites. Let me hear. You know, a lot of mine's is favorite. You know, a lot of songs I've put. Name your favorites. Uh, I, I, I like One More Blessing. Okay. I love He Can Save You No Matter What You've Done. Okay. I like uh, 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 A Matter of Time. I like... Uh, um, now, how does A Matter of Time go out? One me, me, Lee and I did together. It's, it's just a matter of time. Oh. We, we did we did it together, but I like it. I like okay. ordinary, cause ordinary oh, kind of speaks to yes. the day and yes. and anything around it, and is with whatever music well, that's in the genre. Well, can you sing a little bit of that? I'm, we we want to hear something. He takes the ordinary, change the necessary, make the heart feel merry. That's what Jesus will do. That's where we go. I like that. He takes all the merry people, uh, start them on their way. Why are you and so da, 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 da. God heals all merry people and bless them every day. <laughs> That's enough. Of it. I like that. But it's a different kind of song. It is. And, uh, but I'll be trying to write things that's really going to help people. Then I write something for myself, too, when I want to move. You know, like, God, it's waiting me to get mine when I want to move, stuff like that. Get you my know. business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was the name of your, was that the name that's of the your last, last? That's the last, last project, okay, yeah. Okay, your last project. Yeah, so the next one is in process, so we, we're working on so something. So tell us about the new project that's coming out. Well, uh, nobody knows, not even my guys knows what the songs are yet, except maybe one or two, you know, okay. that kind of thing. But I, I'm just, I'm just, uh, you know, right now it's, it's hard for, uh, it, it, we got to be tested, you know, with masks, you know, like we are now. We've both been tested, stuff like that. So you got to make sure that the whole guys are that way as well, you know, when we come together. So. They'll work, all of them are working on that to make sure that's, that's done. And then we'll come together and we'll start working on a particular song to go ahead and put out a single. Okay. And uh, uh, my picture thing and stuff like that, we're going we're gonna to start working on that as well. And, but I have a toss-up as far as what I want to be a singer, so I'm going to throw four or five at them, you know. Then I watch their personality and attitude, you know, like if you get to working on the song and they go to the holler, bam, you know. Then you know, know that's it. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of help you to say that's it anyway, you know. But then I throw another one. Okay. Then I throw out and say, ah, oh, man, we don't know which one. You know? <laughs> that kind of thing, but it, it works, though. <clears throat> it works, yeah. Wow. Yeah. We're going to take another break, and then uh, we'll be right back with our clothes. So all I want him to do is to say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Truth is, I'm tired. Options are few. I'm trying to pray, but where are you? I'm all churched out, hurt and abused. 
Imagine hosting your next event at the all-new SVP Banquet and Event Center? Yes! 
spacious, beautiful venue with plenty of parking located in the heart of East Memphis. Let us host your next intimate birthday gathering, family repast, bachelorette party, wedding and reception, baby shower, corporate meeting, social club event. Call us today. Don't wait. 901-244-6874. The all new SVP banquet and event. But I, um had our intern to come up on uh, stage today because he's doing some remarkable things. And today he'll be very, well this afternoon, he'll be very busy. School started back, right? Yes ma'am, it did. It started this Monday, 31st. Um, tomorrow will be the last day for the first week of school. It's been going good. The virtual setting is new and everybody's really getting used to it, but it's going good. How is that working? Do you get to see other kids on the screen? Yes, you see in Microsoft Teams, which is the software that we're using, you see nine children on the screen, but on the bottom it's like 10 down there and then it has like 10 more since it's like 29 of us in each class. Mm -hmm. um, but you do get to see other people. You don't really get to like network or socialize with other people, but it's kind of like, like the virtual setting is more focused. So it's not like a lot of interrupting or okay. class clown. It's just like straight to work. Mm -hmm. So is everybody uh, dressing for class, combing their hair and all of that? Well. <laughs> Tell the truth. In my class, yes. My class, yes. They, they, they're dressing really well. We don't have a dress code. Like, we don't have to wear uniforms, but we do have to be dressed appropriately. Mm -hmm. um, everybody's been looking fine, and if they don't, they can turn their camera off. But most people that have their camera on, they're not looking. They're well-dressed, well-presented. Okay. Well, that's good. I like mm -hmm. to hear it stories like that that's that's good that makes my day mm -hmm. so corey started um some years ago because you're 11 now right yes ma'am yeah he started with us and i'm telling you when corey started with us the boy was i mean smart he can dance he teaches corey got his phone on i'm glad angel's not here but um corey he teaches hip-hop he teaches other dance as well. Uh, he helped my daughter with the dance classes when he was just seven years old. Mm. We'll give him a, a, a group, and when they get through, Corey has taught them whatever they needed to know about this dance. So Corey is back with us um, now. He wants to learn more about TV, and uh, he's going to be doing some commercials for us. What's the commercial you're going to be doing today? Today I'm going to be doing the SVP Kids Zone commercial. And you're going to say it so people are going to understand the SVP Kids Zone. Let me hear that. The SVP Kids Zone <laughs> um, commercial for our virtual learning that is starting next week. Um, it's going to be great. I know Ms. Debbie has put a lot of planning into it and really thought about it so it can be good for the kids that can't go to school or can't do activities right now. So I'm looking forward to it. So what we're doing starting Monday is we're, we're having virtual learning right here in this facility. And um, we're looking forward to, I've been told that we could take in 80 children. In this way, you know, everybody is social distance. Uh, other than that, we can probably take in, if, if you're having something here, you could probably do 250 kids. But we're taking in only 80 uh, for you know the social distancing. And Corey is here to uh, get that word out. Now Corey, in order for, and parents, if you live in the Memphis metropolitan area and you you want to go to work and you just don't want your kids home alone i can understand you can bring them to svp to our uh, complex and um, but in order to do that how how can they bring their kids to us so to bring your kids to svp kids zone you want to go to ymcamemphis.com and i want you to say that org. again i want you to say it slower it's so that they can really understand what you're saying. This is what we do all day. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go to ymcamemphis.org, and it should be something about registering for the virtual learning, and you want to register them, and 
they will be at SVP. Yeah, you would have to let them know you want to come here. So parents, definitely, there is a place, safe place, safe haven for your kids. And um, we're operating from 6.30 in the morning until 6 p.m. in the evenings. So definitely, if you need somewhere for your kids to go so that they can be on that computer in a, a virtual learning uh, set, you can um, contact us or go to the YMCA, you know, and do that. So Corey is going to put that out in a little bit, a few minutes, actually, because we're just about done here. And uh, <laughs> I'm so proud of, of Corey. If, yes. if I had time, I would have had you to do us a hip hop. <laughs> I would have the boy can dance. So the next time, probably next week when we do our next show, we'll have Corey here as our special guest. And he can teach them. Um, you can teach us older people. So, well, he taught me some stuff. <laughs> yeah, they even had me exercising with the kids. I got my mat. I, I got all my equipment. Yeah, we're going to do that again because Auntie done got big. I back. actually do um, fitness classes for adults and youth. Um, another brand that I started was Hip Hop Fitness 901. And mm. we do fitness classes. We're well, about go ahead, to say that again, but this time take your voice <coughs> up and, and let us hear what you got to say. I do fitness classes for adults and youth. We're about to start our rebranding process and we're going to be launching really, really soon, um, starting back maybe October, November, and we're going to be starting back with the fitness classes. And definitely when the pandemic is over, we will be. Well, you can still do it virtual <laughs> yeah. right now. Okay. See, I'm, we, pump, we pump out the hits. We pump out the hits. <laughs> we have some really smart, intelligent children over here. And um, we just thank God for that. Because when Corey first came to us when he was seven, what did you do all the time? Cry. Say it. I can't hear you. Cry. <laughs> and what did I say? You said, get your mom to go buy some tissues. And my mom went to go buy some tissues, and we brought them up to the summer camp. <laughs> <laughs> we brought them to the summer camp, and he I never used never not used one. Them. He didn't cry no more. He didn't cry no more. Okay. I said, "Listen here, boy. <laughs> you tell your mama to buy you some Kleenex because you don't used all mine, <laughs> and bring them here." And he brought them the next day. Mm -hmm. Didn't use one, mm -hmm. not one. Yeah. Well, that was a cure. They <laughs> love us, and we love them. <laughs> I say, boy, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> He's smart. He's smart. But the kids love us, and we love them. We have some great kids, and we have taught hundreds mm -hmm. of kids, and we're so excited. But anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you, Corey, for being my guest. No problem. George D. is <laughs> always here. George is a part. George teaches. He teaches music, and what else you be doing around here? I teach a lot of different things, you know, but <laughs> ma mainly, since I was with Shelby County Schools for so long, I just make sure I take care of the maintenance, make sure the building stays intact. Yes, George <laughs> just retired a couple of years ago from the Shelby County Schools. He mm -hmm. worked at the schools. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so he retired, and when he retired, the same time he retired, my partner passed away and then I'm like, well, who's going to help me with this big old building? Mm -hmm. And George, and he talked, my partner talked to George. Sam talked to George before he on, passed. On his sick bed, actually. Yeah. He was on his sick bed and called me and asked me if I would help. You know, so I said, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. Because he, he know everybody can't come up here and work with me. He <laughs> know this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he picked somebody that he knew could <laughs> handle me. And, mm. and, and work with us and help us get this building up and running. And thank God it is. And George, you are a blessing to us. Thank you so, so much. So we thank you for sticking it out. You've been here three years. We've been here going on four years now. So thank mm. you so much for everything that you do around here. It's well appreciated mm -hmm. indeed. So listen, guys, until the next time, you go with God, you stay with God, and you shall, and that key word is shall always. <laughs> Be blessed.
coming to SVP TV this fall. The Mississippi Merit Awards honoring gospel artists of the Mid-South. Sponsored by m &K Men's and Women Fashions. Stop by one of our store locations today. Check out our new fall fashions. m &K, the official fashion sponsor. Mention the Merit Awards and receive a special discount. Shop at m &K today. Mississippi Merit Awards TV series coming to SVP TV. Now you stay tuned for dates and times. A Darian Jameson production. SVPT, the voice of the city.